Welcome to this edition of Sendico's Bass. I'm here with the field of Canadian geese. The day when I was over there, I counted like just roughly 130 of them. I don't know why they love this place, but they're all over the place. Now back here at Pinto, weekly adventure. Now the water's dirtied up. Looks like it's about two foot visibility now. So maybe a little better. Kids are here. Right now they're helping them clean over on the other side, I guess. And they were out on the boat and caught one. So, weekly adventure. Made up some new uh, our jitter jigs and stuff. So, I'm going to play around and I'll update you, as usual, along the way. Okay, I'm, uh, first update, told you I was here, actually, I met this guy last year here, and he had his boat, and invited me out, but I just had a little hit, and I went to set the hook, and you can see, was, <laughs> I think I killed him, it's a little teeny fry bass right there, and all of a sudden after I set the hook, and he came floating up, I don't know if my, my weight hit him in the head or what, but <laughs> you can see him. I don't know, it's the first time I've ever killed a fish with setting the hook, but <laughs> when I didn't hook him, but yeah, he's, he's right there in the water. He's dead. <laughs> oh well, hopefully when I update again, I haven't killed a fish. Alright, we got a fish on over there. He for fun throws in and goes, oh shit, because he got his, was that the ghost? Yeah. He accidentally threw it too far back in there and that fish grabbed it right away. Whoa, that's a good like four and a half. It's a good like four and a half, five. <laughs> and you said, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, he was worried when he cast in that spot. Well, that might be bigger than five. No, that's about five, maybe six. Yeah, five pound in there. Yeah, nice one. Man, he wanted that thing too. Jesus. <laughs> I told you this goes works. <laughs> <laughs> I told him it was a reaction. You have bloody noses, like flat nosed. Yeah. I told him it was probably a reaction bite if you're going to find any. I think that's about as reaction as you get. That thing just. You what? You moved it once and he was on it. Oh, yeah. As soon as it hit the water. Yeah, it went. I don't know if you can see it. Those reeds back there. He shot it in there and it went over him and he went, oh crap. And he lifted up once and sat back down and that thing just inhaled it. <laughs> that was funny. That was, he's hooked really good. Oh, he wanted that thing. Yeah, I was surprised he stayed on there because. Well, he's hooked in there so deep. How's he going to get off? I Look how bulged his eyes are. He's like a big sucker. He looks, he looks part frog. He's five. Yeah, yeah but he's bold. bleeding. I hooked him in that. That way the gills come together. There he goes. Oh. Yay, we successfully can put him back. He's like Popeye, look at him. I know. It's like he came from deep water. <laughs> well, at least I got a fish and I got the fight. There you go. All right. That was interesting. Yeah. Now he's a little happier. Yeah, I made my day right there. <laughs> All right, now my turn. Since he invited me on his boat, I gotta get one on, on his boat. Go back to the Buzz Bay, maybe. Anyway, I couldn't put it back in there. Hey, he came out of that spot right there. Straight back in that corner there. All right. Now maybe he knows what to do. We can get more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh. I didn't think he was that big, but he's pretty good size. I thought he was about oh, yeah. like two, three pounds. But... Wow. All right, back fishing. 
Well, I'm off the boat now. Uh, he ended up catching that one. I killed that one fish. Got a couple of hits from little ones like that, but it was slow. He hadn't got any before that. He was going to go in, and I said, hey, you know, if you go back out, I'll go. And well, there he is now. Backing in and getting his boat out because he's going to go watch the NBA game. I'm going to stick around. Might head over to counter, county at the very end, but I'm going to see if I can get myself on film with the fish. Because evidently everybody's having a tough time. They still haven't gotten into their normal summer thing. So, all right, I'll update you. See if I can catch some. He said anytime he's out here and sees me, I'll go back out. So maybe I'll fish with him again. All right, now I'm going to get myself a fish. Okay, here's something interesting. You can see that over there behind me on the dock. Uh, I guess, I think Native Americans or something, but they just made that whole boat there out of reeds. A little project, something they've had going. Yeah, those guys have been there. And now they're getting ready to launch it. All those people there, watching them. It's been about four or five hours and they've created that whole boat they're going to take in out of reeds. Hopefully it floats. <laughs> well, there the guy goes. He's actually in the water with the reed boat. It floats. The reed boat actually floats. out there slowly cruising around doesn't want to knock it over so there you go want something to do got some reeds make yourself a boat it's floating you have to be really careful with it but it worked I saw them bringing all those reeds today so I know they built it when they were here for some fish. Alright, so far today one has been sucky. It's cool I got to go out uh, in the boat. I was a guy I met here last year. He actually bought some of our dropping six. I mean that part was cool. It was cool to see him catch that good five. But man, other than those little bites with him, by those little fry, I was kind of funny that one I killed. But day one's just sucky said day one. I'll maybe back tomorrow. Anyway, I didn't even catch fish so far and I don't know. I might stay for a little bit longer, but it's not looking good. I'm going to come back tomorrow. It's getting dirtier. I'll hang out over there probably the whole time. Won't come over here to the county side. Just stay there till the bitter end and see if I can get some fish. But I got to see a reed boat. That was kind of fun for today. Native American. All right. Be back tomorrow. Fish that buzz bait some more. All right, I'm back here for day two. Totally different than yesterday. Yesterday I had my sweatshirt on the whole day. Uh, kind of got sunny, then the fog came in. And I was cold. Today's really hot. Uh, some other kid yesterday caught a five flip in the morning. I guess over on that side this morning, an eight. Here's seven, eight. I'm here, I've already flipped it all, I put on a big ounce, just scoured everything over there, nothing. So I'm going to play around with the other baits, um, hopefully I can get some fish on day two to go along with that nice fish from day one. Alright, I'll update you along the way. Okay, day two, just as bad as day one. I'm here, it's already around like six I think, still nothing. Played around, got a little fry to hit it, but nothing. I'll update you if maybe in the next couple hours I can actually catch a fish. Blanking two days in a row. Not good. Well, I think that's going to do it for this edition of Sunday Coast Bass. Day two, blanked. Again, didn't get any bites except for those little fry. Decided to go play around with them. Everybody that went out in the boat, nobody in the boat got a fish. Had like one or two hits, that was it. There's fry out here just everywhere. I mean, a massively successful spawn. They just have so much food. They're just It looks like it's raining. They're just fry everywhere. And they're still, I don't know, they're still in a funk. 
They'll hit, but you gotta get them on a reaction bite or put it right on top of their head. So I'm out of here. Come back in next week. Or I might go to Coyote. I'm gonna go to Coyote. A friend of mine wants to go to Coyote. It's another lake. I've done an urban adventure on it. It's got some big bass in it. Lots of lots of over tens have been out of it. So there you go, sorry. One big fish. That was it. And the reed boat. Oh, hope you like this edition. If so it goes bass. Hopefully as summer goes on, the fish get more active and it starts being a lot of fish in the shows. Hope you liked it. Yeah. Here we go.